Backhand wedge, hit, oh, there he is. You're all right. Set. See it? Look, there's an uppercut. There's a hammer fist. It's all right there. It's all right here. One more time. I'm gonna go from here, look. Look, there's his growing. If we want this to end in a hurry. There we go. Does the splits for me. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is this. The pot, backhand wedge, hit, come down, control the two, index finger and the next one, drop it, secure it right here to control what? The pads of his finger. Drop it down in a horizontal position as if, if I had a blade, all right. I was doing a number four. Small circle jujitsu. Okay. Finger locking. How many have heard of Grandmaster Wally J? Okay. Only one or two, that's all? Oh, three, four, five, six. All right. All right. So one of the misconceptions about small circle and finger locks, two things. One, when you do a finger lock, you're supposed to break the finger. How many have heard that? Oh yeah, yeah, not true, not true. You never want to break the finger, ever, okay? But you do wanna put it on the verge where the person thinks his finger is gonna get broken. That's a different type of pain, okay? The next thing is like finger locks does not work in a fight. How many's heard that? Oh, come on, you can raise your hand because I, I follow folks all the time that makes those statements, you can't comments, okay? Not true. But what we're gonna do first, Tim, can I use you please? We're just gonna go over a couple of locks and then some of these locks I'm gonna end up using in a little bit of this example of things, all right? First thing I'm gonna do is index finger lock. You can come a little closer. Index finger lock, number one, okay? I don't wanna grab, if anybody tells you they're trained with Grandmaster J, and you see them grab a finger like this, and the tip of the finger is over the, over the web of the hand, they never train with Grandmaster J, okay? So never believe that. You know why? If I go to put him in a finger lock, all he needs to do is take and press as if he's pressing a button and it's difficult for me to lock him out. Now I'm using force. All your power is in the tips, the pads. So basically what I wanna do, I wanna go here. So now what's he's gonna, what he's gonna do now, he's gonna try to bend his finger. Okay, I'm not using muscle, okay? Remember, I am not doing this. You don't hear him yelling and screaming. How do I know this works? Why is he going down? Look at this, watch my hand. See his shoulder? This is all I need to do to know that this works. Watch his shoulder. Right there, that's it. Drop, lock, finger to the floor. If I drop my hand down this way, it gives him space. He gives him space to do what? Hit me in the mouth. Look, watch his hand. Okay, I want his elbow, watch my hand. I'm gonna take my hand with a little twist. Now, same exercise, but look what I do with his, with his arm. His elbow goes in toward his, toward his body. In toward his body. So my drop and lock is here. There he is. I like him today, so I'm not gonna hurt him. Okay, Dro yes, who called me? <laughs> Drop and lock, so watch his elbow slowly. It's not about how fast you do it. How accurate are you? Understand what you're doing. Drop, lock, with a little what? Twist, now I'm gonna point my finger to the floor. Watch where he goes. All right, so here we go. That's the index finger lock. So, so the next thing is when we talk about wrist locks, wrist locks. So we see people talk about wrist locks sometimes, and what they do, 
they grab their hand real tight, and they're trying to force it. And here's where they're face forcing it, right there. Shouldn't take that. What you need to understand, everything, this principle is all about drop and lock. Drop and lock. So I want you to be stiff. Watch his body. Drop and lock. Drop and lock. See the leverage? He says, what the hell? I think I was looking. <laughs> okay, drop and lock. On the drop and lock, all I'm going to do, I'm going to roll my fingertips in toward my belly button. Okay? So Grandmaster Jay used to say this. He used Aikido as an example, not disrespecting Aikido. Okay? But between here and here, he said that's a wasted circle because nothing happens until the hand comes to the belly button. That's where the throw is, all right? That's where the throw. So he eliminated this play and just went here, right there. So two hands, down to my belly button. I roll my fingertips in toward my navel and upward and watch his body. Okay, so here's the thing. The point of this is, if I have to show you how to do a wrist lock and I have to hurt you, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Because it doesn't take that. Tim, okay? Wrist lock. There he is. All right? Slowly. Wrist lock. Drop lock. There's my belly button. Roll into my navel. There he is. Do you see how his body starts to completely turn? We're grabbing at the hand. We're all up around the first two knuckles. That's no. Your thumb should be right under the last two, right there. Should not be rolling over the top. Because to control the wrist and the hand, I need the baby finger to be rolling this way. Okay? So if I go here and she turns her hand back towards me like this, ready? I'm going, there it is. I'm you feel me? Go. Turn it back. See that? Go. Turn it back. Why is she able to counter that? Okay. Look at the technique. Turn it back. Turn it back. Turn it back. You see? So it's the control and the locking point. All I'm trying to show you, the locking points would make it work. All right? Uh, let's see here. Thank you. All right? I told you you could trust me. <laughs> All right. Now, let's go to the part, Les. Does locking work in trapping? That's what these events are about. Exchanging and sharing information. It's not about one system being better than the other system. Because once you understand it, the system becomes universal. You incorporate. All right, here we go. So we're going to get him first to cross from a backhand center line. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to wedge and just show my hand. Okay? Again, I throw the backhand, I wedge. Okay? Beauty toward the eye. And you notice how I'm going across. Right there, okay? So watch, just take your time. You can do this, you can take this home with you. Right here, see the motion? Okay, see the, watch the other hand. See what I did? Watch again. Crosses, look. See how he's over there? Let's change his angle. I'm going here. See the hit over there? Look at this hand. Watch his body. Watch again. Backhand wedge. Hit. Oh, there he is. You're all right. <laughs> Set. See it? Look. There's an uppercut. There's a hammer fist. It's all right there. It's all right here. One more time. I'm going to go from here. Look. 
Look, theirs is growing. We want this to end in a hurry. There we go. Does the splits for me. All right. Now, what we're going to do is this. The pot, backhand wedge, hit, come down, control the two, index finger and the next one, drop it, secure it right here to control what? The pads of his finger. Drop it down in a horizontal position as if, if I had a blade. Excuse me. You all right? I was doing a number four. So look at the motion. Okay, I'm not going to cut him. Look, number four. See the motion? Let's work. 